Hey everybody, welcome back to RVs of America. Getting ready to introduce to you one of the newest rigs in our off-road lineup. This is the XER from Vorshear. So we're really excited to be bringing you the full walkthrough today to talk about all of the specs and the features and why this might be the perfect trailer for you. Okay, now for the specs on the XER from Vorshear. So this trailer is 1,300 pounds, making it very light, easily towable by a lot of different uh, tow vehicles. It is 12 feet long, it is uh, six feet wide, and it's about six feet, six inches tall if you get the awning and the rooftop tent. The other spec that I think uh, would be important to note is that it does have an aluminum 20 gallon tank that is on board with this system. So those are gonna be the specs and I suppose, you know, the tires as well. It comes with 33s, you can option up to a 35 but obviously you can get tires that you know can match the tow vehicle and have a spare mounted on the back which will you can either use for the tow vehicle or for the trailer which is really nice okay so we're going to go ahead and start at the beginning of the trailer at the front of the trailer we're going to talk cover the uh, battery system as well as the hitch so this trailer, we have opted to get a full battery setup. As you can see in here, there is a lot of space. So if you wanted to expand your battery capacity, that would easily be done. It did come with, on this package, two 80 amp hour batteries that we have for our current setup. But again, if you wanted to expand that system, you could. And then it also has your battery controller as well. So moving to the front, we will talk about the hitch. These trailers do have an option. You can get a two inch ball or you can get an articulating hitch. Now the hitch that they choose to use is the max coupler. And we have had some experience now using the max coupler. Of all of the hitches that we have at RVs of America, the max coupler may actually be the easiest one that we have to hook up with and use. So it is very, very easy to hook up. One of the other things that we really like about the XER is because it is so lightweight, it's very easy to pick up the trailer and just drop it in. So when we're going to set up the trailer, if we didn't back up perfectly to where it is, it's really easy just to grab onto these, lift it up and drop it in because of the lightweight of the trailer. Just a really, really easy setup. Uh, like I said, our other uh, articulating hitches that we have, uh, there's varying degrees of difficulty to hook up to them. And this one easily is at the top. You drop it in, you put the pin through and you're done. A uh, great hitch. And again, that is an option, but this is, this is what we would always recommend is getting an articulating hitch. So I wanna show you real quick, uh, I was talking about it briefly, but I just wanna show you how easy it is when we connect or disconnect from the trailer. It's just really easy to just pick it up. You just drop it in. So again, if my trailer was further back and I was right here, I can just pick it up drop it in, put my pin through here. And I'm good to go. So once again, really, really easy hookup. This is one reason I really like the Max Coupler. Speaking of design, so this right here is a unique uh, design that we've seen on the Vorshire trailers that we haven't seen on the other ones. It's really, really fun. These grab bars here in the front 
Moving over to the frame, one of the things that you'll recognize that is pretty unique is the way that this frame here is put together. It's angular. It's not straight up and down, um, but they've designed the frame to be angular to give it more strength. This is a solid steel frame here and a very unique design. Uh, makes it really cool looking, but also really, really strong. This is gonna be a bulletproof frame that's gonna be one that you can pass on for generations to come. Really, really awesome design. Okay, moving around on the other side, I wanted to also point out that we do have a hookup here for an external portable solar panel. This is currently wired for ZAMP, but if you don't have a ZAMP uh, solar panel, you can just get an adapter and use this with anything that you want. So far, based on the usage that we've had with this unit, a solar panel is all that you would need. I wouldn't worry about getting too much battery capacity. Rather, I would just make sure that you have a solar panel and you'll be able to stay off grid indefinitely. The only thing that you would run out of is, is water. So just bringing extra water with you, but a, uh, a solar panel is all you're gonna need to be able to stay 100% fully charged. Now I wanna show you the storage on the trailer. This here is our pass-through storage. We have a door on the other side also that will open up for us. But it's actually got a lot of room and I'm gonna show you real quick. I've got a measuring tape and I just wanna give you an idea. So we are about 28 inches wide and we're about 46 inches. Just leave it right there. 46 inches long. So about 28 inches wide, 46 inches long. Our height inside is about 31 inches, just over two and a half feet tall. Really good size compartment here for storage. Now on the other side of the unit, we do have a mounted awning, but I wanna point out here that we actually, on this rack, we have holes here to mount rails a mounting system so that you can actually mount an awning on each side of the trailer. And because of the way the trailer is designed, you can get 270 degree awnings on either side to wrap around the trailer without an issue. On the other side of the trailer, we will go ahead and show you, we have a 180 degree awning, but if you wanted to have a 180 and a 270 on this side, that shouldn't be a problem. That's what's awesome about the trailer and the design is that it's modular. You can modify it and make it fit your needs, uh, as well as the rooftop tent here. So one thing that is unique about our setup today, and if you have something like this, uh, this trailer may work really well for you. So if you've outfitted your tow vehicle to have a rooftop tent like we have here, you may not need to have a rooftop tent on your trailer. Maybe the, what you guys are really aiming to get from your trailer is extra storage capacity and also a fully built kitchen. And so what we could do with this trailer is if we had a rooftop tent on our tow vehicle, I would not have a rooftop tent here and I could utilize this roof rack area for with a Thule storage bin or anything else that you want. If you want to put surfboards or you know whatever else on the rack here, this becomes a, a giant area for storage on the roof with the capacity of having two mounted awnings. So you could have your sleep area on the truck, come over here and have two fully, uh, like a, a really nice base camp. You know, you could sleep over there, over here is your base camp. So it's modular. You can make the trailer the way that you want it. So that's what's really cool about this. We have a little bit more storage right here. Whether you wanna put water in here, food, this also is another area, a prep area, table that you can utilize. So once again, just more storage. As you can see, we had to go through some mud to get here. So that's why our trailer's all dirty. Moving back. We have a rear mounted spare tire and one of the things that they've done with this design is they continually add areas for storage. So on each side of the tire we have mounts. 
you can mount high lift jacks, you can mount roto packs, you can mount, you know, whatever you want on each side of the tire. And that's just once again, going to increase your capacity for storage and for taking things to get you off grid. I'm going to go ahead and open this up and we can talk about some of the other features. Okay, I've got the back opened up here. There's a couple of things uh, that I want to talk about that I don't want to forget. Uh, just to go and show the, the thoughtfulness and the design and the creation of this trailer. What they've actually done is they've put guard plates around the lights. Everywhere around the trailer, anywhere that there's a light, there's actually a guard plate. In the front, in the back, they have guard plates that are protecting all of the lights on the trailer. Just the little things that they've done to show this is a really high quality trailer built here in the USA and it's really, really awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the kitchen. One of the things that you'll see right away is this giant storage area. Again. This trailer has lots and lots of storage. So if you guys are going on a long trip and you have a lot of things to take, this trailer is gonna give you a lot of space to pack things. So really simple design for opening up the outdoor kitchen here. I just pull this and everything comes out. So with this trailer, I believe it is also optional, uh, but we've got a dual zone 65 liter fridge and I know it's 60 plus liter, so I could be wrong on that, but it's 60 plus liters on this dual zone fridge. We really like this fridge. Over here, we have a dual burner stove, Camp Lux, uh, dual burner stove. This right here is our water heater. That's gonna be for our shower and also for our sink. This is plumbed to have hot and cold water. So when we do wanna take a shower, this right here is our hookup. This is our hose for our, our shower. Just plugs in right here, and uh, we would turn on the propane water heater, and I would just set up an outdoor enclosure right here for my shower, and I could even do it underneath the awning if you wanted to. This is your base camp right here. We've got storage here for spices and anything else that you'd wanna keep outside for your kitchen. So I'm actually gonna go put this kitchen away. And I just wanna show you, once I've pulled it all the way out, it actually locks. So if I'm on an incline or whatever, we're doing stuff, and, and uh, even if I lean up on this, it's not gonna be going back in. So I do have it locked out here. To unlock it, very simply over here, I've got a little lever I'm gonna pull on. This guy right here, I just give that a little pull. Also right here, I've got USB and 12 volt plugins for additional electronics that you may want to have out here. So I just give this a little pull. Locks in place. Really, really easy to set that up and, and put it down. So one of the other features that I like that come on bolt that you can have on the XOC and the XER is this little table setup that you can have mounted to your rear tire. So when we have the kitchen pulled out, I've got a workstation here that I can use for food prep, for cutting my vegetables, cutting up the meat, whatever. This is a really nice workstation here for our base camp kitchen on the outside. The other thing I'm gonna point out is that the XER and the XOC both have a rear receiver so that you can mount a rack on the back for bikes or for whatever else that you might want to bring with you that, uh, that you would utilize a, a receiver for. So on the back we have some recovery rings. We actually have these on the front as well. Two on the back, two on the front as well as I want to talk about the jacks here that we have that come built with the trailer. These are stabilizers, but these are actually also jacks. So one thing that is unique about these trailers, a lot of times the stabilizers that come on a trailer are just that, they're only for stabilizing. The ones that come on the vor shears, these are rated to be able to lift the entire weight of the trailer. 
And if you are in a situation where you need to change out the tire, you can actually raise this high enough to be able to put all of the weight on this and get this tire completely off the ground to be able to change your tire. Really, really neat uh, design and, and a great pick from Vorscher here. This here is another area for storage once again. All right, so now we're getting ready to go underneath the trailer, but I wanna also point out before we go there, the clearance on this trailer. So I pulled out a measuring tape and from the ground to the bottom of our wheel wells here, it was about 25 inches and to the lowest point underneath the trailer, which is gonna be our mounted aluminum tank, you're probably about 23 inches as is the absolute lowest point on this trailer, which is absolutely remarkable. There's just not very many trailers that are gonna have that much clearance. So the other thing I wanna point out underneath the trailer, all along the underneath of the trailer, we have a metal underbelly, we have an aluminum tank, and our suspension is Timbrin axleless suspension on each side with drum brakes. And that is going to comprise the underbelly of the trailer. Okay, so we went and set up the awning. The way we parked our truck, we can't actually extend the awning all the way, but I will tell you that the setup was very easy. It was much, much easier than I was anticipating. And the other thing that I noticed, we actually took this camping. I was not camping with this unit. Nate from our office was. And when we went to the rally, everyone else had to put away their awnings. Nate left his out for eight days straight. He never had to put it away. So it's a really robust, strong awning. Wind is not going to be as much of an issue with this awning. Once you have it extended and you have these tie downs used on each side of the tent, this thing is really, really strong. And it just has so much. I, I feel like I've tripled the size of my unit just using this awning. It's really, really nice as a reprieve from the sun and it's a lot cooler under here. So this is absolutely a really nice feature of the unit. And again, if you ever wanted to go bigger and go 270 degrees, that wouldn't be a, a, an issue with this unit at all. So we're going into winter and I'm actually just emptying my freshwater tank here. One of the things I wanna point out here is just the components that they've used. I have some trailers that come with plastic tanks and plastic release valves. Uh, you can see here that this is a high quality metal tank with a high quality shutoff valve. So it's again, just every component of the trailer is just really, really well built. And it's really, really easy to let the water out of your tank. I'm you know, draining it here. And then once I'm done here, I'll go run the water and make sure that there's nothing left in the lines. Hey, thanks for joining us at ROA Off-Road for one of our newest off-road rigs. We're really glad that you took the time to join us on this tour. Uh, we hope that if you have questions that you put a comment below, we'll be there to answer them if there's anything you missed or anything that uh, you'd like to know about this trailer. And also don't forget to subscribe so you can see all of the trailers that we have coming in the future, all of the announcements and everything else that's coming to ROA Off-Road. Thank you so much and we hope to see you on the trails.